This one is a 1962 Royal Dart. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. It comes with a brown leather carrying case. Pretty sweet. The margins are right here behind the paper loading area and it's got a paper tray that flips up. Once you hit the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the line space right here, gets you back to the beginning, and you can change it from single to double. Right now we have it on single, but there's a switch right here that changes that. As you can see, all the keys tighten nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence real quick. Very nice typer. This one's really nice. It's just like one of my favorites because it's so like compact and it's just easy to type on. It's like comfortable and easy to type on. The print is really nice too. You can't really go wrong when you're when you're writing on a Royal. Some of the best typewriters ever made. So if you want to pull this out easy, see up without using the knob, you flip this switch here on the right. Oh, that's the carriage release, the one in front of that and it pulls right out. You can also load thicker paper when you have that forward, uh, like carbon copy or card stock, and you flip it back to get it into normal so you can normally load regular paper. It's got a backspace on the top right here. <clears throat> it's got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left side, and to get, to get it undone, you just hit it. It's got a carriage locking mechanism on this side. So if you flip that down and you push it in the middle, it'll lock in the middle there. Just flip it up to get it back. This paper tray will flip down on each side. These are the margins. And this is the carriage release. It's only on this side, on this model. And that, again, is the paper release lever. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.